Hey guys and welcome to Kerbal Space Program! We are playing on my Saturday career stream here. Unfortunately for you guys, right now it is Saturday, but I'm recording this in advance because I cannot make my stream today and I thought, hey, I cannot leave you guys without any beautiful content to go and watch. And I have a big, big issue in this save at the moment that I'm sure most of you are aware of. Out in the tracking centre, Beyond the range of Kerbin and my ridiculous comm network, even out beyond Juna, we have a ship. We have a ship sailing. It's just gone past Elu, and there are problems out here. Let's kind of focus on Elu over here. Jeb, you guys may remember that I don't like Jeb. I find him to be a little bit pushy about who gets to sit in the rocket first. I have all these other Kerbals that really need to go out and get some training done, and I'm just left with this man, this man here, forcing his way into the first pilot seat he can possibly get into. So I set a trap for him. I built a ship. I built a ship ready to go out to the furthest reaches of the solar system. The Kerbal system? I'm not sure how we want to do that. And as soon as he got in there, I was like, ha ha, you're off, go. Unfortunately, I kind of under-engineered. There was an inclination change or two in the way that I forgot to account for, thus leaving Jeb floating out in the great big void of space here. Now, I probably could have gone and try and find a nice light gravity moon so I could like land down and make myself some more fuel and stuff like that but that does not sound like the most interesting way of solving this particular issue Obviously, the most Kerbal way of dealing with this is building the biggest rocket I can possibly put together and having a claw on top here. Now, I'm not sure whether this is actually the biggest I could possibly have put together. I could get another line of asparagus on the go there, maybe a few more solid boosters. We could probably even get an extra stage in the middle here. But I think, basically, what we have here is a whole load of fuel up top with a claw on top that we want to go and attach to Jeb's ship. We've got this monster of a lifting stage here where most of it is actually given over to lifting itself you know classic rocket paradox there i'm just gonna hit launch because i think we can go out and start solving this issue right now as long as you know we get through this loading screen and here we are on the launch pad. Now I'm a little confused because when we were looking out the VAB door, it was daytime and now suddenly nighttime. But we can definitely live with that. Hey, what are you over there? <laughs> Mun miner for debris, uh, for dollar debris. Okay, that, that's cool. Uh, I don't want that to be my target. I've Oh, we can't untarget stuff by another double click anymore. Okay, so there we go. I am going to get ready to go here. Now, as always, on this asparagus system, you can see that the fuel drains in, like, all the rockets are going to be burning the fuel from this fuel tank because of the way that I have set up the... Uh Fuel pumps. Yes, that's what these little yellow lines are. Fuel pumps. Uh, so I will be wanting to peel this one away first. Unfortunately, this also means that this fuel tank is going to be emptying a lot quicker than these solid rockets are. So all I'm going to do is throttle up to about two thirds. We've got ourselves our SAS, and I will give you a three, two, one. Blast off! Now, this is literally just enough to crawl my way off the pad, but I need to be doing this. Look, you can see these ones are the ones that are draining, and maybe even that is a little bit too much. Now, I'm going to push my way over to about 10 degrees, and then I want to just hold it there. Pretty classic orbital insertion maneuver. Yeah, I, I suppose. I suppose a, an orbital insertion normally means you're coming from the outside and you're circularizing again. I, I don't know. This is a, like a lifting stage, something like that. I'm looking at this liquid fuel here and it's really really starting to burn down a little bit quick so I'm just gonna ease back a little bit there and as I pass through 170 meters per second I'm gonna go for the prograde marker I'm just gonna let this autopilot its way up to the uh, up to orbit there you can see we do not have any separatrons or anything like that on this stage I I'm hoping this works out all right you 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 guys know that this can lead to a small small issue where when the hydraulic manifolds push away the pivot point is either too high or too low and then either the top or the bottom will smash into my ship i'm hoping that is not what's going to go down here i have done a few little tests and normally they just kind of fall away from me so this should be a-okay we're coming up on 10 kilometers here i am definitely going far too vertically upwards 
but as you can see I'm not exactly the most aerodynamic rocket so I don't want to muck around with it too much I'm just gonna let gravity do its job we are coming up on the first stage here man my computer is kind of struggling with this lift look at that it says we've only been going for a minute I'm sure that will all change as soon as this double stage goes underway so we'll first get up oh no it went bad I think we're gonna have to go do a revert guys Okay, so there's a very, very quick and easy way to deal with this, and I'm going to do it straight away. We've got these separatrons here. First thing I want to do is make sure they're being delivered to the right place. So, no. I'm going to put this down on uh, symmetry. All right, pop that there, and then somewhere in here, it's just replaced it somewhere there. It's all the way up here. Now, is that where I wanted it? That is actually kind of... No, I wanted it in with this lot. That's, that's okay. So once I've done that, I can then just kind of copy-paste it. It's a tiny thing on top of a big thing, so it might be a little bit difficult to carry on doing that. Yeah, that gets it put in the right place. That's fine. Okay, so let's just go around and do this, and I'll see you guys on the launch pad. Man, that loading screen gets worse and worse every time. Okay, I'm once again going to throttle up to just under a third here. I could probably do with a little bit more. Maybe we could put some like more solid boosters around it or something. But we're going to take off again. And we can watch that time tick down very, very slowly. So I'm going to get a little bit of a forward momentum on the go going upwards again. And then start to just ever so slightly pull the retrograde, no, prograde, sorry, prograde marker over this way. I don't know why I sometimes reach for the word retrograde before prograde. I mean, it's got the word pro in it. Why wouldn't I be using that one? And I'm going to just kind of sit, I don't know, this is now 15 degrees. That might be a little bit better than the 10 that I picked up first time. Looking at the fuel burn rate, I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm just going to kind of hold this. Are we going too, too much of a tip now? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to hold this on the on this edge of the circle of the prograde marker. Yeah, I think we are coming in a little bit too hard, um, turning a little bit too hard. We, we kind of want to be where we are in two kilometres rather than where we are right now. Uh, that, that's fine. We'll, we'll just generally try and make this gravity turn take a little bit longer than last time. Just by, you can watch my yaw here, I'm just tapping sideways just to try and counteract the natural gravity turn. In fact, I'm even going to hit the stability assist now and just let it fly at this sort of angle. Oh, can we feel that? I can feel that. I can feel that. I'm pushing it back. I'm trying to push it back into the circle. It's pulling, this air is pulling the top of my rocket there. I do have a bunch of fins at the bottom, as you can tell by this yellow circle. Uh, not yellow circle, what's this called? Yellow line, the yellow drag indicator. There we go, that's more the design I was looking for. 400 meters per second at around 10 kilometers. I'm feeling quite happy about how that's set up actually. Uh, I would like to perform my stage very shortly, if at all possible. We're going near on two times the speed of sound. We're, we're getting close, we're, we're a little way off. About to lose the solid boosters. Gonna let that little wobble settle down to one fire. Bye bye Separatrons, yeah! Oh, I might turn those lines off now. Explosions, explosions! I'm also gonna drop this outside tank. And go up to full throttle, of course. Why, why have I not full throttled it? Uh, obviously, the only reason I did not have it on full throttle, just to remind you, is that that liquid fuel would burn through before the solid fuel had burned through if I had done that. Which, which is not what I want. Which is not what I want. I'll tell you what else I don't want. Being below this 45 degree line whilst being below 20 kilometers. That's, that's very steep. I mean, it's going to mean that I'm getting into orbit a little bit quicker if the sideways, you know, going this way a little bit quicker. But I'm going to be fighting the atmosphere sphere a lot lot harder so uh, it swings and roundabouts though people swings and roundabouts we should be a-okay i'm hoping i am hoping now this stage it comes with a fancy little um connection system on the top here you can see i've got some parachutes and a little um probe core some solar panels and stuff like that that is because i fully intend to bring this central core back to Kerbin. hopefully hopefully back to Kerbin. if not i will be like uh making it dive into a planetary system at some point if we end up taking it to the outer system with us you know to, to outside the Kerbin system that that's that's kind of what we're not looking for for here. Uh, we are climbing on the way up. I'm just wondering when is the good time to expand these antennae. Uh, soon. Soon. Soon is the key there. Do we want to speed up time? We're back into normal time accelerator. It just probably couldn't deal with all the extra boosters there. I am not looking forward. So you may have noticed that my VAB... Oh! Rocket gone. My, my VAB is not actually fully upgraded. We just lost uh, a fin. 
We can live with that. We can live with that. My VAB is not fully upgraded. This means that I could not make the biggest rocket I could possibly make uh, because I've got weight limits to worry about. Weight and part limits. Now, I didn't actually encounter those. So I'm not I'm not that bothered about it. Uh, I just thought you guys should know that this this could have been made bigger if I had really, really pushed myself for it. We're coming up for 63, 64, 65 kilometers. Still quite a way off. It's a slow launch, but then look at the size of this beast. It is a massive and horrendous uh, and also appears to have picked up a little bit of a wobble. Hopefully that's not going to uh, amplify. That's amplifying. Let's turn the SAS off and just let it fly by the seat of the probe cores pants. Because, you know, probe cores, well known for wearing pants. Uh, let's go over this way. They just want to be human, guys. Le leave them be. Let, let them do what they want to do. We're going to push over towards the prograde. I assume that the wobble has got set up because of this lack of fin on this side. Uh, ooh, sunrise! No. Well, we've got sun on the, car on the craft. Sunrise should be coming any moment. Just, just as we're cresting out the top of the atmosphere now obviously this might not be saturday but i am kind of doing this as a stream replacement so uh, hot chocolate if you got them lads and ladettes i'm sorry that that was that was very british and misog misogynistic of me there uh okay we are cresting at the top what what have we got up to here 87 i'm gonna just go because you can see that it's only a skipper and some main cells i may not actually be able to get all the way up to orbit if i wait too long uh i did this has had a test flight. I should I should let you guys know this this has had a test flight just to make sure that it wouldn't shake itself apart. Uh, though it seems like it's trying to shake itself apart. Um, and I had trouble getting up into orbit during my test flight. Not trouble. Tr trouble's trouble's too strong a term. Uh, but if I didn't hit it too if I didn't hit it early enough, uh, we would have ended up not making it up. I really want to. Can we disable this? Um, can we just disable this one? That's that's what I want to know. Uh, you know what? This far up into into orbit, we're going to do that. Uh, going up, going up, going up. I do not have my Kerbal Engineer on the go, as you can see by the lack of information at the top. This is, of course, because we are playing in Kerbal Space Program 1.3, uh, which turns out isn't just a language pack enhancement thing. Um, there, there is more than just the language packs on the go. Uh, we managed to last stream, last Saturday, it wasn't last stream because you guys would know about the Tuesday stream, which is going to happen tomorrow for me, but you know. Um, that So that stream, we managed to launch a telescope out. Uh, this telescope was part of the 1.3 update. It was actually part of the Asteroid Day um, expansion pack that they released a couple of years ago, uh, but 1.3 has brought that back. Okay, you can see we're having a little bit of trouble getting up into a nice stable orbit here. Not a little bit of trouble, isn't it? It's taking a slight longer time to circularize than I would have liked. We're up at about 108, so let's... Oh, <laughs> I pressed the wrong button straight away. Always, always. Um, so let's try and figure out where my orbit is. Because, let me show you here. We are trying to target this bad boy over here. Hey, Jeb, Jeb Z Uh Click, set target, okay. Now, what I want to do, I know it's a bit hard to see, but here is Kerbin's orbit. It's this light blue one that's hidden underneath all these other spacecraft. Most of these spacecraft have been kicked out by interactions with the moon. So they're not that far away from Kerbin's orbit, and that's why it's pretty hard to see what's going on. But what I'm going to do, oh, it would be at the Apple Apps, wouldn't it? Of course. I'm going to add this maneuver here and just try and kick myself out of the Kerbin system so that we can start planning independently of where my home planet is. Because, I mean, like, the home planet's nice, but it's awkward. Oh, we could have got a speed boost there. No, I, I am bothered. I Oh, am I bothered? I kind of am now that I stop and think about it. I, I would like to get as many... Ooh, look at that many gravity assists as possible. That's going the wrong way. Look, it's going to give me a nice small, small orbit. Aha! There we go. That's what I, that, mm, that's sending me backwards. That's going to take all my speed off me. Let's have a look. Yeah, periaps. Look, that's, that's almost got me down to Eve. Incidentally, that's almost got me down to Eve. Next time we go to Eve, that's how we're going. That's how we're traveling, guys. Uh, how about if I just carry on like this? Does that kick me out on another? That That's a little, that's a little better. I like that one. We're going to do that one. I'm going to do that one. It's not perfect, but hey, we're, we're flying in space. We just have to, like, make do with what we can get, right? I, that That's the way I'm feeling about it. That is the way I'm feeling. So, once again, whilst we are time warping away, I think I think it's a hot chocolate time. I, I feel like it's hot chocolate time. Mm -mm -mm. Now, something that I've forgotten to do so far 
that I need to make sure I do. Look at look at the colour of this line. Uh, you, do you guys know why it's such a bad bad coloured line? I will show you. Let's get back inside here. I should have set this up on a uh, action group. Not extend solar panels. No, you, you'll you'll be wanted later. Extend antenna. Uh, extend antenna. There we go. Now we might even be able to make contact with Jeb with this extend antenna okay this this is like three highest level communication devices does it speak out it, it doesn't speak that far what about the entire comms network it's getting better it's still not perfect still not perfect but that, that's fine that's fine let's get back in and see what we're doing here we are turning around to face in the right direction it reckons we're going to make a burn of one minute 28 and there is definitely no way this is coming back uh with me yeah, not coming back to to Kerbin. We could probably crash it somewhere. I, I want to make sure I destroy it because you know the amount of amount of space junk that I have in my save. Um, like the stuff we see here, that's just active vessels and stuff. If I want to like turn my space junk on as well, yeah, maybe that was a bad idea showing you the debris because sometimes when I do that, the computer just decides that it wants to try and keep track of all those objects in memory, and then my computer goes. Arr. And I, I dislike that. Okay, we are a minute away from a minute and a half burnt. I think I'm going to wait a few seconds underneath a minute. Hello, let's take it down to 50 seconds and then I'll just hit full force go. Uh, 865 meter per second burn. I don't know how much delta V we have in this craft because obviously it would normally be read out up here. I just know we've got nearly a, fuel ta a full tank of fuel. Oh, go! I was, I was nearly late. I was nearly late. Go, 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 go. Uh, so hopefully what's going to happen is we're going to do 50 seconds on one side and 50 seconds on another. Now that's not quite the right amount of time. Um, but... I like to bring my throttle down towards the end of a burn. Let's stop that happening like that. Like, uh, like that. Sort it out. Sort it out. Sort it out. Just, 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 just be calm. Be calm. All right. When we get down to the last few meters per second, we'll start thinking about how we can deal with RCS to make sure we pinpoint the best possible orbit. But right now, I'm fine just burning like this. I kind of want to... Let's let's do this. Bam. Go prograde. Let's go prograde. Okay. Uh, no. Stability assist is not the winner. Not the winner. Uh, we got it. We got it. We can do this. We can do this. Now, the problem is, of course, the fact that I had struts. You can you can see the struts here. Connecting to the outside tanks to hold these all, um, all in place. Uh, and obviously, we had to, to drop those. Now, I did have... A bunch of struts coming from here up this way um, off of tiny little structural supports all around the outside so I could got a little bit a little bit of extra wide uh, that's good enough for me let's have a look at what's going on here let's kill that okay we're facing in that direction I'm gonna go R and I'm gonna push forwards until something happens uh, or uh, maybe not like this I would like to encounter Min, uh, not the Mun, Minmus, ideally. Oh, we're going to do it with the Mun, by the looks of it. That must have been the one we have encountered earlier. So I, I got stuff set up, but it's not. But yeah, there we go. I've got, I've got RCS running here. I've also got a full RCS tank there to deal with, so I'm not worried too much about burning through it. But it doesn't seem to be doing what I want it to do. So I'm going to just there like that. Oh, what's the periap set? 100 kilometers I like that that's not terrible it doesn't push me too far out of uh, I don't know Apple apps is going up Perry apps is below get more of an O birth effect there. okay we're gonna do it we're gonna do it I'm, I'm going to live with that um, because we're gonna get the O birth effect as we're coming down deeper towards the gravity well so we get more more bang for our Delta V's right here right I'm hoping so my next thing is to warp here cannot auto warp so far thank you very much that's just what i want uh let's it's because we're going through several sphere of influences so let's say bye bye kerbin bye bye Ker oh sun sunset did you see how far the sun disappears um like into the edge of the planet is it going to happen on this side as well no i don't know uh, the, the reason that i point that out is because my comm network likes to go through the planet sometimes as well uh like, look at that one no, 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 there, that one. Look at it, it's going right through, right through the planet. Squad, sort your occultations out. It's like, you know how big Kerbin is. <laughs> there's there's no way that that should be happening. 
Not a chance, blood. Uh, okay, so everything's looking good. I'm just gonna warp here. Let, let's just warp there. Let, let's watch everything happen. Whee! Where's the moon? I'm zoomed far too in. There, there we go. There's everything. The moon is literally gonna come and c catch up with us. Hey, Minmus is there as well. That's cool. We're gonna now be plummeting towards it at ridiculous rates. Now, th this is how gravity assists work. You can see that I am falling down. I'm behind the moon the entire way. Yeah, the moon is going this way the entire way. So if I'm behind it, the moon's gravity is pulling me that direction as well, meaning that all our speeds add up, and that's why we get this massive speed boost. I think I explained that well. Uh, I hope I explained it accurately as well. So here we go, running down past the moon. I could get a boost by like burning a little bit of periaps there, but I'm, I'm not bothered. I think we've got the fuel to get going here. The hardest part of the mission is still yet to happen. Obviously, meeting up with a random ship in the middle of nowhere. I mean, that's that's difficult. I'm not going to have any any like encounter markers. Well, I'm going to have some encounter markers, but not like the planetary encounter markers. Uh, Oh wow, and we can warp here and go ripping past Kerbin again. Whee! See, this is what happens when you do gravity assist. You end up, like, passing the same body a few times in a row, just just to make sure you get maximum maximum gravity help. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what the phrase was I was going for there. Let's, um... I want the direct network, if possible. There we go, first... No, not first hop. Path. There we go, path. Uh, who's all the way out there? That is Jeb. That's who's all the way out there. So what I'm going to do is if we can actually warp over here, we can. So I have a few things that I need to make sure that I do in this burn. Uh, we need to make sure that the ascending node is zeroed. That, I mean, that's that's simple enough. I should have done it out here. It's going to cost me less fuel out there. But we'll we'll do all these at the same time. The, uh, the uh, inclination correction and pushing myself up there. So I'm going to add a maneuver. Yeah, we've still got good connection, so that's that's fine. Uh, ascending node, so we want to pull it down. You know what, I'm just going to... Ah, hate that. Try and right-click on... Ah! Try and right-click on the maneuver node. Let's just let's just stop all this. We're going to take time. Uh, you try to right-click on the, the ascending node, but you end up right-clicking on the maneuver node. I need to read what I'm clicking and not just click. Um... And that turns it into a different different style of node, and that, that's no good, that's not what I want. So now I can bring this across. Ascending, so we need to bring it down, and now I can look at the numbers on the other side. Wow, that was a little bit more complicated than it needed to be. Just a little bit. To minus 2, mi well, minus 0 0.2, if I just kind of keep moving this until... I'd like to have this ascending node just stay on the maneuver node, but I, th I think that's going to have to do. Now, of course, pushing this back out like this is going to make it a little less accurate. We can see that happening there. Uh, six, no, five, three, two, one. There we go. We've got our double encounter markers, and as you can see, it is mileage away, but we're going to do stuff about that. First, I want to make sure that this maneuver goes off without a hitch. Um, 44 days away. 44 days. Let's th not forget that doing things in space... Efficiently or not, takes a long time. If you want to do it efficiently, that takes even longer. Whoa. Okay, so I've been saving this fuel tank here so that we can try and crash this into something. I don't, I'm not convinced that's actually going to help me there. Uh, I, it, this is normally for deorbiting it around Kerbin. Like, this amount of fuel with the main sail and this amount of tank can bring me back from any point in the Kerbin system to crash into Kerbin. Because all you need to do is slow down enough. But once we're out and about in the real world, well, in the in the larger solar system, uh, once you're out and about here, it's it's harder. It's harder to hit stuff. You need a lot more fuel. Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna worry worry yeah, wonder about this whilst I have a small drink of hot chocolate. Mm. Maybe while I'm doing that, we could also warp to next maneuver. No, to next maneuver. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Any, any time we're going to be cool. 40 days takes a while. This is this is always something that I forget when we're out and about. I'd love to be able to travel to that spot at some point. You, you see all these stars in the background. I would love to be able to just kind of point a probe at them one day and go, go. Whoa, look at that burn. It's like a minute. It said three minutes when I started. That's what started me going, whoa. But wow, that's still whoa. All right, let's uh, let's watch this because this is the this is the important screen. This is the one that actually tells us how we're going to meet up. I'm not that bothered about getting zero zero on this 120. Uh, sorry, 
1200 meter per second of burn um because like it, it's a big distance um uh, getting it zero zeroed might not actually give me this exact thing because of the wonders of floating point maths for those of you that know that what that is great for those of you who don't it's it's not accurate guys it's not accurate especially over such large distances i mean you've only got so many decimal points places to work with um and once you start running off the end of that well then you've lost your accuracy and that's how kerbal works so if you ever wondered why it is when you go through a sphere of influence sometimes did i just hear my engine stop uh if you ever wondered why sometimes when you go through a sphere of influence that the predicted orbit is not the same oh my gosh my staging is out of line it's not the same as what it said it would be that's why uh go oh <laughs> Gosh, look at this time, guys! <laughs> look at this time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it up to four times, so it's at least a minute. But wow! Welcome to the Kraken's, Kraken's round, by the way. We're up at four times acceleration. Red lights all round. Things are not going to be exact here, not even slightly. Just, just as we were talking about the inexactitudes of this game, we go and like exacerbate it. Yes, throw out some big words. That's why I'm here, you know, because I can speak well. <laughs> Okay, so where are we going? What are we doing? It's literally just still trying to climb up. I'm a little bit worried about how we're going to get Jeb to meet up with Elu. Because uh, obviously Elu's now on its way off, right? So Elu's year is like long, like long, long. So we're not going to have to wait for the next. We're not going to wait for the next pass. I know we might do. We might do. I, I will. I've not actually planned that bit of the mission out. Um, we, we need to get Jeb uh, back to back to elo at some point but this may actually be an incremental process let's uh, kill that and watch these markers appear there's one i just want two two there we go two uh so that's pretty good oh i will take that as a nice nice maneuver now can i go that way no of course we've already gone more than two kilometers away from it let's zoom right in zoom right in zoom right in zoom right in i can't see it where where are you my second probe uh I mean, it's not space junk, is it? It shouldn't be classed as space junk. It's got a probe on it. Uh, there, there is definitely another... Maybe it's this orbit that I'm seeing here. I don't, I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. It might... Ah, ah do, do you kind of see it there? Jeb's ref there should be a Jeb's refuel pro. All right, I'm going to stop trying to muck around with the map. Let's go to the tracking center and make this happen. So this um, this mission is going to kind of take a long format. I was um and an ahhing before I started about whether I was going to edit it down or whether I was just going to leave it full. Uh, I'm going to leave it full because, you know, you guys are expecting a two-hour stream at this point. So I thought this might be a good way of doing things. Let's just see what we can do with this. I don't know how much delts it's got. This this is the big problem here. I don't, I don't know how many delt V's it's got. I'm guessing it's only 100 or so. Excuse me. I'm guessing it's only 100 or so. Um, wow, loading screen. Get on with it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the other problem, of course, is we don't have probe control. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Uh -huh. All right, well, that's fine. That's fine. Does that mean I can't turn these back on? Oh, I can. Okay, that that's good. That's good. I can also point myself retrograde or prograde. Uh, can we get this to match up with Kerbin? Here's the next question. If I was to go... Oh, Kerbin, where are you? My beautiful home planet. Uh, set as target. Yeah, look, look at those encounters. Look at those encounters. Uh, hmm... Okay, this is not great. This is not great. A 2.9 inclination is also not the best. I literally don't see any place where I encounter it. I would have expected maybe like this place where I, where I pass the line here because we left this one. Uh, we're going faster here. Maybe maybe when we get back around there. Um, add a maneuver? I cannot because it's control locked. Well, maybe I didn't want to get this thing back anyway. Let's, let's, just, let's just deal with shipping the stuff around and then I'll do a little little amendment at the end where I try and deal with stuff. Uh, that, that's what I'm going to do anyway. That's what I'm going to do. I can definitely see this becoming like a three-part video. <laughs> uh, so roll down here, Jeb's refill. Because, of course, we need to get the, the junk back as well as getting Jeb back. Uh, not back, but at Elu. Uh, and, of course, this part is the first part of the mission where we go and refuel for him. Okay, so you may be wondering, how am I going to make sure that this great big claw ship matches up with our little ship over there? Uh, and it's all going to happen down here, as, as I'm sure you're aware. Where's the other orange marker? It's behind the peri periaps 
I can't, I can't see it. Pe is it perihelion? No, per peri perikerbalion? I don't know. I'm not sure which one it will do. So let's uh, add this maneuver. Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. How, how fast do I have to be going for them to match up? Ah, oh, you what? You what? Did you see that? There we go. Let's let's try this again. Keep going. Keep going. Bam. Ish. How close can we get this? I reckon we can get this very close. Very. Ah, oh, look at that. Less than a thousand kilometers. That's that's close in space terms. They're like super close in space terms. There we go. One thousand seven forty. I bet I could get a little bit closer, but I will do that on the approach. That that's blatantly the way that's going to work. Five hundred meters per second. That's actually about half of what I expected it to be. Hmm. It makes me think something's wrong. Look, even my relative speed is only two and a half kilometers. I was expecting those numbers to be a lot bigger. Like, a lot bigger. I'm fine with that, though. Don't, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to argue about that. It just makes me scratch my stubbly chin. Um, let's warp to next maneuver. This may take a little while. I think we've got, a, like, a, a, like a, a whole year to wait. Maybe two whole years. Uh, when we do that, we will check with the probe over time. See if it... Um, can go, can go back to Kerbin. Because if we can make it go back, that would be great. Does it go out as far as Juno at any point? The the probe? No. <sighs> All these rocks. This rock here, uh, this was actually a contract to bring this back to the moon orbit. Um, well, it, it didn't actually want it in the moon's orbit, in the moon's sphere of influence, but the orbital parameters it gave were very close to the moon's orbit, so it ended up chasing the moon, and because it was in a slightly smaller orbit, it ended up catching up with the moon, and then it got a boost from the moon, much in the same way we did, uh, to get out to this sort of distance. So maybe at some point we'll come back and get that again. I know it's got um, a booster on it. I don't, I don't think it's got any fuel left. That's the problem. That is always a problem. Okay, we're getting very close. I really didn't think we were going to do this in our first orbit. I was expecting to have to like wait two or three orbits, something like that. I love the fact that this is being a nice little relay station between here and Juno. Bam! Okay, face the right direction. I mean, we've only got a minute to go, but we are, of course, only using four nukes. So, um, go! Who knows how long this is going to take. While we're doing, whilst we're doing this, sorry, I would also like to drain all the monoprop out of this tank if I can. Uh, that one. Oh, it, none of these have used their monoprop. All right, don't worry about that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is turn my monoprop on and, and go forwards. Uh, can I say that this is the highest priority? Uh, and then the, these. Uh, is that the monoprop? Yeah, mine. Is, okay, cool. Yeah, that, that is actually right. That's doing what I wanted. Oh, so good. So, I love it when things just work for me. Um... Well, we're going we're to burn like this for a while. The node is in 33 seconds. We've got a two-minute burn to make. Uh, I'm just going to hold my H key down. I'm tempted to speed up time a little bit, but you know I'm going to miss that, that precision ending there uh, if I do that. We will, once we get close to being in the right spot, um, then use our RCS to fine-tune as much as possible. Uh, one of the things I made sure I did on here was to um, get the RCS as balanced as possible. You can see I've even got one in the middle so that when this breaks, it still stays balanced, uh, which, which is nice. I like that. I also really like this little um, arrangement of fuel tank adapter, small fuel tanks, and nose cone. I mean, just look at the way that flows in there. Uh, it's not so great on this little join here. I would have liked to have got that a little bit better, maybe drug it out drug it out yeah dragged it out you know past tense of drag um, so that yeah that would that would have been great that would have been great this is not burning anywhere near as fast as i would want another another minute another minute to go so i was thinking about putting another um nuclear rocket in the middle here but i just i like the way this looks you know it's almost like kraken like on its own it's got a little little squiddishness to it maybe if we gave it six legs instead yeah, maybe, maybe. 43 seconds to go on the burn. I think I'll bring you back when it's done because I don't even have a chat to look at and see. Yeah, I miss you guys. I really do. I much prefer doing this sort of stuff when I've got people to talk to, tell me where I'm going wrong, what I need to do better. Uh. <laughs> also, just general, general chatting is, is also good. Is also good. So this weekend, I'm probably currently at the moment in a fight with Daleks, with Deadpool backing me up, with Harley Quinn watching on. I'm off at Swindon Comic Con, so it's going to be a crazy time going on. I know some dude has got like massive remote control Daleks on the go, which I think is amazing. I'm really not burning through that liquid fuel fast, am I? That's, that's nice though. That's nice. Okay, let's get ready on the X key. X key. I want the 
Uh, it's pretty close. Let's bring it back. Just a little bit more. There we go. Uh, what I actually wanted to do, have been doing was... Oh! Oh, look. Oh, just look at that. So close. So close. No, we can't. We literally can't get any closer than 1.7. What if I do eyes? No. Oh, there we go. No, that is, that is actually it. It must be an inclination problem. Let's have a look. 0 0.2. Mmm. 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 I don't know. But anyway, I know what I do want to do is uh, warp over here. Now, this is going to take a while, guys. It's going to take a while. Okay, about three quarters of the year has passed. You can see we're starting to get connection with Jeb's Elu home. But I also want to show you something else. Do you see these little um, asteroids that are appearing around the orbit of Juno? That is because out here somewhere, not that one, not that one. Wait, what are you? Oh, that's the probe. Okay, that's the thing. This Mun and Telesat relay. We, we need to rename this. This was the new part. Oh, let's, let's slow time down. Let's slow time down. Uh, I've, got to, I've got to quickly show you this. Let's switch over to there. This is probably going to be loading screen central, but we, we'll go for it anyway, because I want to show you guys that missed last stream what is causing that. Uh, you'll see here that we've got this new telescope. For those of you who have not played Kerbal 1.3, you probably would never have noticed this before, but this is currently tracking objects. Oh, look, we can log observational data. Ooh! Science! Yes, please! Oh. Well, well, there we go. Um, but yeah, this guy is tracking all the asteroids out around Juna. So at some point, I'm probably going to go over there and see if we can do something about that. But you can see Jeb is starting to get incredibly close to the refuel ship now. So we've got to start thinking about how we are going to bring these two together, like super close. Uh, we are in the middle of like a solar orbit, thousand kilometers. We're not even going to be able to see each other at that point. A hundred kilometers, we're probably still not going to be able to see each other. Uh, so if we can get within that hundred kilometers, that would be the ideal scenario uh, i'm gonna come out here and see if there's anything i can do to fiddle with it here let's add this maneuver and pull up that information there let's start by doing a little bit of this nope <laughs> a little bit of this ah that i knew it was literally an inclination problem look we get down to seven five hundred okay five hundred is pretty good it's a good start it's a good start it's not exactly where i want to be so while we're there uh oh I, I dislike it when the information and the uh Maneuver node lights. Oh, it was there. Did you guys see that there? Four, three, two, one. It's a little bit closer. Ah, oh, I can't get a little bit closer like that. Um, one point seven. That's that's good. Uh, can we like speed up and slow? Oh no, 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 uh, no. Okay, so let's do this, and then as we get closer, we will attempt to do the standard like burning our prograde and retrograde to make it work. You, you guys know what I mean when you're in target view and you try and line up the yellow circle with the pink circle. Um, Standard docking stuff, standard rendezvous and docking. A uh, little bit worried that it will take too much fuel, but 2.4 meters per second, wow. No, I'm actually, I say I'm a little bit worried about the fuel levels. No, I take that back. I'm actually worried about, ooh, monoprop getting used up there. That's that's good. Uh, I like monoprop getting used up. Let's just turn that off for now, though. Let's turn that off for now. Hopefully, it'll be able to, like, calm down enough. <laughs> Look at that pitch marker going. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Let's, let's take it calm. Don't overshoot, guys. Don't overshoot. Okay, I'm going to use my RCS here. Uh, in fact, I'm going to do it from this point of view. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. And we're going to just push this forwards. Ah, just, just turn my RCS on. It does help. I did turn it off for a reason, but I need it back. Um, four, three, two, one, zero. And then again, eight, seven, six, five. Counting with, counting with Twitchy. It's what it's all about. One, zero. Um, yeah, that's good enough for me. It's good enough for me. Let's let's see what we got going here. Uh, seven six. Uh, sorry, seven oh eight kilometers. That's that's not great. Five for three two. Okay, we can make it go down by this. Okay, I'm gonna. I no uh, no. Which one will actually bring me closer here? Two one. I'm kind of pushing up, which obviously means I'm actually going down. Um, 20 kilometers you know what i think that's close enough to start thinking about targeting uh now we've got two and a half kilometers to try and shed what is going on there look at that separation start ripping up that that's the rcs right there that was that was painful oh why would you do that oh oh gosh why would you do that um i'm gonna come to about here and we're gonna start zooming in more and more and more as this gets closer and closer and closer Whew. It's it's time for rendezvous, guys. You know this is an intense process. 
you know this is an intense process. It's, go it's going to get harder and harder as we get closer and closer. Separation 2.15. Sorry, 215 kilometers. Oh, I, wonder, I wonder what the 2.15 is in standard. Because you've got kilo, mega. Um, yeah. It's not, it's not really a, a nice separate value, is it? It's, it's three zeros. You need to get to the next one. Oh, well, anyway, I'm going to stop <laughs> um and ahhing about different measurement systems and start thinking about how we can make this work. Five days away. Can we go a little bit close? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> that, that was a little annoying, but... Right, let's point that that way. What happened there was I hit the um, slash key by accident. That was definitely not what I wanted to do. Um, I got to turn that off so it's not bursting for no reason. I, I, I works. I works. Let's just get this down as small as it will go. As small as it will go. I just, I just want to get nice and close. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna try J. Yep, J also works. Get that separation real nice and down, and then I should be able to go forwards and backwards to get it even closer. Yeah, okay. Well, 55 kilometers, pretty close. That is pretty close, guys. We're, we're going to go with that. Six days away from a rendezvous so far. Let's uh, let's do this. I'm just going to let this warp play out. There, there is literally... Oh, no. No, no, I need this. Um, set as target. <laughs> don't, don't do that to me, guys. Don't do that. Uh, is it going to take days and days to match up speeds? It, it is. I don't like the fact that I keep losing connection with Kerbin. Um, I kind of need that, but at the same time, Jeb should be able to take control of this ship by now. You know what I'm saying? He's got, he's got, the, he's got the skills. He's got the skills. All right, Monoprop has run out on this stage. That's good. That that is actually good. Uh, the, every time that I uh, I did a, a little test flight or whatever, I ended up with extra Monoprop left over. Um, so this this is nice. I like this. I like this. Let's just get ourselves facing in the right direction. Pull up these informations again because I would like to start dropping this number here. 2.5 kilometers per second. I don't like the fact that this is going up as I do that. But I think we should be alright. This is going to take time. I'm going to uh, speed up, maybe get into the Kraken's round. Let's get up and... Oh, oh wait. Whoa, whoa. Um, uh. Oh, look at that all the way over there. Mm. Mm. If I do this, does this help? Just bring them closer. It's kind of. There we go. It's still pretty far, but that's fine. That's fine. Hmm. Um, mm, mm, mm. I want to get these relative speeds down first. That that is a must. Watching these separation values, wondering what I can do to make them go down. So I'm gonna just fly over this way. See if that helps. It does actually help. Just going to tap, 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 tap. Let it let it settle back. Um, I want to get it below 100 because that's where Kerbal starts showing you target markers in the actual, not in the map view, but in the in the real view, if you will. Um, have I gone too far? Maybe, maybe. I've still, I've got to bring that number down, that 2,300. Um, it's no good having a close encounter if you're going to smack into them at orbital speeds. Uh, I mean, it sounds like fun, but it's, it's really not. I wish I could make my nav ball larger. I can make my nav ball larger. Should we um, give that a go? I think I will. I think I will. Looking at this. Okay, let's do it like this. I'm going to go into settings. We're going to go all the way down to the bottom. Scale. I'll make sure I change that back. But I, what I'm trying to see is the relative position of this pink thing and this yellow thing. Um, so they're... they're they're hard to see when they're right on top of each other like this. So let's try and steer back this way. No, up, up is where I want to go. Oh, in fact, I want to go down. Yeah, there we go. Is that about right? It's about right. Definitely bringing that distance down. I'm gonna... This is going to be hard. This is going to be very hard. At 570 kilometers. That's that's painful. Painful. Oh, well, I'm going to times up again until we can see this getting, I don't know, coplanar. Coplanar would be very good right here. 1,000 kilometers is definitely something I can work with, though. The closer we get to his orbit, the harder it's going to be to match these things. Though, that, look at that, 500 kilometers are getting close. Uh, let's go up this way, because that appears to be the direction we need to burn. I say it appears. 
There's only, only so much I can do. Uh, that way. Okay, let's bring this down to less than a kilometre per second speed difference and we'll, uh, we'll figure out what we can do from there. Of course, I am now spending all my fuel trying to match up. Um, making sure we've got some of this left. I'm expecting us to drop the outside tanks. This is just going to end up a space junk, unfortunately. It is a big unfortunate as well, because I wouldn't mind keeping hold of it, but... Uh, any reason not to stage? Just, I'm just checking my staging. Go. Okay, that's pretty good. And this is going to take a lot quicker. <laughs> take a lot quicker? Yeah, you heard me. It's going to take a lot quicker. Let's pull that information back up and try and figure out maybe... Ooh! Whoa there, Betty! Whoa there! That was quite... quite the move you just performed. Um, we're getting nearly close to four kilometers, so let's let's bring this down. See if we can't bring this number back down. Not sure which way we would have to fly to make that happen. Um, let's do this. Make sure we're pointing in that direction. Uh, I want to turn this off. If we could just steady ourselves there. No, no, yes, no, yes. Why are we on time three? Let's get this step down. There. Okay, there we go. That's good. Uh, I'm going to turn my RCS on and we're going to see if doing this does anything. It does. Unfortunately, it points me in the wrong direction as well. Uh, so let's go that way and just pull this down. And we could do it with our engines, I suppose, but it, it's, it's really hard to figure out which direction I need to go. Um, at least with the RCS, I just press a button and instantly get feedback on whether this is the right direction or not. That's my plan, and I'm sticking with it. Uh, what about left? Yeah, so left and up are the, the two directions I need to do here. Um, I think, as long as this number keeps going down. Yeah, that's still going down, and that's still going down. Okay, uh, just I stop and check individual distances every now and then just to make sure. Distances, directions, directions is what I mean. So, like, that's an up, that's still... Uh, up is going... Uh, yeah, that's all right. What, what about left? Yeah, they're both still going in the right direction. That's cool. I wonder how much monoprop I have left because, of course, I need to make sure I've got enough to dock with. Ah, look, I got, all, I got like all the monoprop left. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, one four. Let's go up again and left again. Yeah, they're both still very much working here. That's good. That's good. Um, not loving the one point, oh, the one point zero seven kilometers per second. Um, speed difference that we still need to deal with, but it's fine. It's fine. You can you can tell we're into the high concentration bit. My my voice gets a little bit more like this now. Uh, also, been recording for nearly an hour now, so that that's that's one of the times that I go, yeah, my brain's starting to frazzle. Okay, so that's going up at that point. That's not what we want. That's also going up. So let's go this way. Just got to keep checking the buttons, you know, seeing what what does what. So at the moment, I'm literally just. What pulling up, um, pressing the K button. 400 is still pretty distant. Not that way, this way. This is left. I'd like to try and read out what I'm doing. It's a shame I could really do with like a key lock, key readout here. Is this literally as close as we're going to get? Okay. What happens if I. Uh... No. No, it's... speeds are matching. Okay, let's do this. Let's bring that speed down a bit more. I want to get as close as we can, as slow as we can, right? That's the distance. Uh, I kind of want to just pull this up this way. It looks like this is what I want to do. No, no, already too far. Um, that's fine, that's fine. We'll, we'll sort that out. What if we do this one? It's the 300 meters per second, uh, 300 kilometers is quite a distance to try and figure out what's, what's going on. Um, Let's just make sure we don't need to drop a fuel tank yet. Not quite yet. We're getting pretty close, though. Pretty close. Obviously, as we drop each tank, it becomes more efficient. But this is the stuff we're supposed to be delivering. Now, I, I'm, I expected to drop tanks. I, I, I did mention that I expected to drop tanks. Um, but the fewer that we could drop, by far the better. Mm, RCS me up. Let's do it. How do we get closer? Just got to get close. Got to get close as we can. Uh, that way, that, this way. No, not that way. This way. 
it's just going down single numbers though it's not quite as I would like it um, as we get to within a hundred kilometers if we can no, this way if we can get to within a hundred kilometers I'm actually gonna just leave it there and we'll get as close as we can like that man it's just push it one way push it another as soon as the numbers start slowing down push it in the other direction again and we'll just get closer and closer Ooh, 90 80 do we want to just leave it at this I did say I would go to but there's a 40 there okay I'm gonna warp here five days away five days away we're gonna get close I, I can shed 800 meters per second relatively quickly in this vessel I think I think we'll, we'll find out we'll find out okay here we go can I even see it yet here's a question can I even see it yet hello hello I would have expected it so I'm like facing away from him if you will so I would expect him to be over there no we're still too far away we're still too far away that that's fine I mean let's have a look here distance the distance is what I'm looking for that's um it's more than 13 kilometers isn't it oh yeah very much more it's uh 13,000 kilometers uh, no yeah 13,000 kilometers Ugh. all right uh maybe a little bit closer two hours away let's just try it let's just try it. I'm watching this distance of course as well maybe we'll uh, shrink my nav ball back down now uh, down down uh, scale 100 please there we go except resume flight still two hours away here this, this is looking pretty good guys this is looking pretty good that positioning definitely needs to get sorted but 40 kilometers is that's good that's good I can I can live with 40 kilometers let's get back to here and see when this fuel tank needs to be dumped is it that one is that on the end of the line I think that's on the end of the line yeah it's the one that's actually emptying so uh, let's do that I'm literally just gonna burn until this tank gets dropped now um, oh no my hot chocolate's all done for oh well oh well uh, 40 liquid fuel units left this should be pretty good uh, you can see that I've kind of set these up uh, with three engines rather than all of them having engines now that obviously was to save weight at this particular stage but I think I put this one on the wrong uh, wrong tank if you will you can see it's the second set of tanks that we're about to drop I feel like I possibly should have put them on this set of tanks but anyway uh, so that was the the drop that I wanted to do it's still distance away 44 kilometers that's fine that's fine let's bring it down to I don't know what's a what's a safe speed for you guys to 200 meters per second I like 200 let's go with 200 200 means that you are moving fast enough to like see effects of what you're doing but gives you time to think about stuff uh, that's that's how I hope it's gonna play out but man we are pushing that hours in advance hours in advance come on come on dude we've got this uh, you know you know you've got this uh, all right, well, we're just gonna go for 250 because I'm already bored of waiting. Uh, we've lost connection. That's not great It's a good job. I can like press go and stop. I Would have liked it to have been a little bit more Finessed than this where is Kerbin right now? Ah, so far away So far and I don't even have anything else to add as a relay act as a relay not add add as a relay mm -hmm. uh, So over here, let's walk that way Let's see if we can see him yet. Hello? Hello? Um, maybe like engine would... You'd expect him to be coming in this way at some point, right? Uh, 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 no, 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 stop. Um, whenever I press that button, I'm like, oh no, what have we done? So he's actually behind and away from the sun. So... There... No, no, no. There's the sun. He should be over there somewhere. I don't see it. But then he's not a planet, so he's not going to stick out from the middle of nowhere. Um... You here, warp here. Two, two hours. Go, 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 go. Two, four, six, eight. Oh, look at that. Two, four, six, eight. <laughs> that's amazing. Uh, I, I like powers of two. Well, I mean, that's not even powers of two, is it? Um, but anyway, uh, 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 can we see him yet? I can't. I can't. This is, this is the sweaty stage. I've got to tell you that. It's, it's, it's another warm week in England this week, and trying to think as well as doing stuff like that it's hard it's hard so i'm already spotting that this purple marker is quite a bit below my yellow one so if i come up here 
and make this burn like this. Yeah, see? See skills, man. Skills this is what I'm doing. This is why I play the game, and this is why you guys watch. Because I know how to make a close encounter. Okay, let's do it like that. I don't. I obviously don't want to set up an impact, because th that way is madness. <laughs> that's, that's like, oh yeah, oh, I'm really close. Oh, I'm getting closer. I can't stop. Ah! That type of thing, right? Um, that's, that's the problem right now. That's the problem right there. Okay, I'm going to time warp a little. It's getting hard to know where to time warp to, because you can see everything's just a little bit out of whack here. Squad, fix your game, buddies. Fix your game. It's a little, this this fine maneuver stuff. It never never really quite knows what it's doing. Can we see it yet? Can we see it yet? As soon as I can see it, we can stop going back to the map view to try and figure out what's going on. Um, Six point nine. It's still pretty good. It's still pretty good. Still cannot see him. Ah, there he is. Ha 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 ha. Okay, this is this is good actually. Let's let's move a little bit closer. I want to get this down to what twenty? Should we go for twenty? Twenty sounds good to me. Are we going to end up losing this fuel tank on the way? I don't think we are. I don't think. I tell you what, that speed, that um, gravity boost that we got from the moon on the way out, definitely helped. Can I just have that stay up? It won't let me right click it. That's that's unfortunate. I would really like that to stay there without me having to hover my mouse. Um, yeah, that gravity assist really, really helped. Because obviously, I did a small simulation before I actually did this mission. Because, you know, that's that's what I do. I've got to make sure it can actually fly out here. Especially as it is a mission that I'm going to be posting as a video. Um, yeah, and I, I ended up with much less fuel by the time I got here. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. I am feeling pretty good. Let's... Uh there we go, we've got, we got actual distance marker now. Uh, the real question is, how long is it going to take me to slow down? Let's have a look at full speed. Oh, actually, that's really quick. That's really quick. Let's let's push this up here. I'm going to do one of these. No, further up. Let's do let's do more, dis, uh, more direction changing than speed changing. Like that? Okay, cool, cool. We're still going to come in very close. Very, very close. Drop this down to, I don't know, I mean, 100 meters per second. I'm, I'm tempted to wait till we're within 10 kilometers. Because uh, that gives us like 100 seconds to deal with. That's that's over a minute. That's fine. We can deal with that. We can deal with that. Okay, 12, 11, 10. Maybe a good time to start thinking about slowing down. Just, just a little bit. I mean, literally like that. It's going to take a while like this. Let's, uh, let's crack in it up. I think we're doing all right, actually. At some point, I'm going to press full go, and then we're going to have troubles. But for now, it's pretty good. Also, we have connection again. This is nice. I like that. That means I can do these small burns. Wouldn't normally be able to. Coming in very quick. Hey, I slowed down there. Don't suddenly jump around. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm, just, I'm really not sure how close I want to get it before I totally stop. a very important thing to bear in mind it's how far you want to get before you stop I think 1.9 is pretty good we're gonna bring this down to a few meters per second um, in fact I'm gonna stop I, I am gonna full-on stop I'm gonna to switch to RCS and we're gonna do this docking um, one kilometer away I'm gonna attempt just to do this good effort good effort let's try that again uh, it's a good effort. It's still not quite right. Still not quite right. There we go. 13 meters per second we're going to drift in at. I like this. I like this. I might even do that. Arm this. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to quick save. That's what I'm going to do now. What? I have not quick saved for over an hour. Things could go horrifically wrong. I'm going to quick save again because I didn't see the writing pop up. There we go. Cool. Uh, I'm sure it did. I just missed it. Um... Okay, let's start slowing down. Uh, RCS. And then this way. How much RCS do we actually have left? Uh, I'm a little bit worried that I'm going to... Oh, no, I've got loads. I've got loads. I've got loads. Loads and loads. Definitely need to go to that and hit backwards. 
don't want to come in at like 10 or 20 meters per second. I want, I want to come in at about 5 meters per second. Now, I know at 300 meters away, it's going to take a little while to cover that distance, but I can already make out all the details, and that that that, that scares me. That scares me. Uh, I'm going to leave this ship as a relay satellite. I've, I've done everything I can to make sure that it is a good ship, that when I go out there, it's going to do what it needs to do. Like that. Is that is that the angle I want to be coming in at? I want I want to pass underneath it if at all possible. Uh, let's free orbital chase. Not a free orbital chase. Uh, that that sounds a little weird. Uh, but <laughs> it's the different camera modes. You either have free camera, orbital camera, or chase camera. I I prefer locked and make sure. In fact, what am I on right now? Let's, let's go with lock. Yeah, it, it's a very subtle distinction between locked and chase. Chase follows your prograde marker, the little yellow circle. So, so it's for, meant for planes, right? So when you do a big bank, you can still see where you're actually turning without smashing into stuff. Um, I, pre I presume that's what it's for anyway. Whereas locked is m much more the docking camera. Uh, you are behind your ship orientated the same way that this is orientated and you can just, just see what's going on all right i'm gonna float up until the ship is somewhere in this line and then we should be able to make them connect still moving incredibly slowly this is good this is good i'm gonna try and like just connect to the bottom here we're not gonna use this the engines on this anymore I don't know. I mean, the LV-909s, they're pretty efficient. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go and find out what's more efficient, the LV-909s or this. I mean, that said, this has got a lot of mass to it, so I, I doubt I want to actually do that. Uh, further, further, let's, let's actually go a little bit faster. Lots of monoprop left. I'm surprised how much monoprop I've got left. I might even end up keeping those on here just for um, navigational reasons. So once I'm up to about here, you would imagine my center of mass to be around where these um, antenna are. So I want to get my center. Of oh, we've got no, we've got no control. No control. Why? Why is it suddenly no control? This is bad. Oh, this is very bad. Okay, we're gonna. I quick saved, right? Yeah. So we're gonna do this. This is gonna be bad. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be bad. I'm, I'm floating up and above. I can't. I can't do anything about it. No, we're coming in at the wrong angle. Oh, we're gonna break stuff. I can't. I can't do anything while we're like this. Uh, am I just gonna carry on looking at it? Right. Connection? No. 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 No connection. Ah. Oh, why is this? Why is this? If we end up facing anywhere near that, I'm gonna end up pushing at it. Oh no! Oh, oh, this this could be bad. Connection, donk. No, okay, maybe not. <laughs> uh, okay, so target retrograde as soon as we can. Just try and bring ourselves to a stop, right? Oh, this is bad. One, zero, four. Mm, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Right? Can we break into bust into this? I don't know. Five, eight. Let's go for a full meter per second. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't look good, does it? Just, just a little bit of control. That's all I want. Have we, have we just drifted beyond? I'm not, I'm not sure what the, the hold up is here. This isn't going to connect. <laughs> this just straight is not going to connect. I could push it, but that's about it. Mm, okay. I mean, do we wait? Do we just wait for connection? We're here. We can stay with him. That ain't no ting. That ain't no ting. Hmm. I am very sorry. I'm actually. I'm even gonna leave that thought processing time there in the video because I full on don't know what to do here. I'm, uh, I'm thinking and I'm in and I don't know. I'm, I'm going to try one more RAM on the side. 1.2. I mean, that's pretty, pretty, pretty effortless. Aha! All right, cool. This is terrible. Turn the RCS and everything off. <laughs> uh, so now what I want to do is I want to select all these. 
yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, pop them all over this way, and then individually we're going to start emptying these out, 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 out. Now there should be. Oh, I, I am so glad that worked, guys. In fact, I have not made enough noise. Woo! We managed to do that right on the side there. I, right in the side of his face. Should we see what Jeb sees? Hello, hello. Where, where are I? Ah, uh, oh, there it is. There it is. Hey, refueling ship. <laughs> yeah. I always find it a bit weird that Jeb turns his head inside his helmet. Does no one else think it weird that the helmet doesn't go sideways with him? Maybe it's just me. Maybe that's just me. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> totally ruined the uh, fuel transfer by doing that. Well, that's fine. I, I, I'm sure you guys are happy with that. We, we went and saw what Jeb saw. Hopefully, we're going to get pretty close to having this full of fuel. Full of fuel. Because um, it needs to make a transfer to Elu at some point, so that is a thing uh i want to get rid of that one can i right click that to no no okay well that, that's not how it works this is a thing that i would like to happen at some point so i don't know if you guys ever do any refueling like this but when you do and you want to empty out of this one and then you want to empty out of another one what i'd like to do is be able to close this one and just open another one and go uh, to tell it to empty out again turns out that's not a thing we're allowed to do oh if you if, if that is a thing we're allowed to do let me know because i i I just don't know how to do it. I don't know. Uh, let's grab that one. Fuel tank. Yeah. Out, out. Now, what I'm really wondering is, do I empty out these middle tanks? Or do I leave it for the fuel? Uh, if we fill this up with the outside tanks, great. This moot point is not going to be a thing we can deal with. But... Okay, that's pretty good. And then you over here. Out, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we might actually fill it up. Look at look how much space we got. Yeah, no, actually, I, th I think we are going to fill this bad boy up here. Which is great. That's that's exactly what we wanted. Uh, so the next part of the mission is going to take a long time. Like a long, long time. It's going to be something that we have to do. And I mean, um, game world time. Um, is, is this a, a adapter here? No, no, it's not. Um the reason that i saw something empty there i was fuel tank the reason is we don't have that much fuel we've got some fuel but we haven't got that much fuel hey i can steal the monoprop out of here yeah please i'll take that um oh that that was totally not my my desktop there uh so let's let's monoprop this bad boy up um this one uh in no in this is gonna just fill up this this isn't even gonna notice it is it that's fine. I can deal with it. I, I can definitely deal with that. A problem we are going to have is balancing this liquid fuel here. Like, uh, oh, I don't know. Maybe maybe not, actually. We got we got some extra... Oh, I just cleared the thing, didn't I? Let's do that again. Oh. I'll tell you what. I'm going to stop talking for a bit until I've transferred all these fuels around, and then we will talk about what needs to happen next. Okay, I'm just having a quick look around, seeing if there's any hidden fuel tanks that I've put onto this vessel. Because I could have. That is definitely the type of thing I could have done. But it looks like no, that is that. So, what I'm actually going to do is say... Release. Boom. Bye, Jeb. Bye-bye, Jeb. Uh, now, our weight is super off of balance. Let's have a look. That, that. This one's got some fuel in, and this one. Okay. Uh, do either of these be empty? Yeah, that you heard my phrasing. Do either of these be? Uh, how are we going to do this? I need to empty all of this into this one. Because this is one we're going to throw away, right? So we'll pull it in and pull it in. And then these two are the last tanks. Now, this is going to be almost totally useless. But I'm going to grab that and I'm going to grab that. All right. And then we're going to grab this one that we put all the fuel in. And we're going to go out, out. And it should split the fuel equally amongst the two. It does. Yay. There we go. Top tips. Twitchy's top tips. This is this is how we do things like this. Uh, and just like that, we are ready to make a stage. Make a stage. Like that. Did that happen? I don't think that happened. Um, I mean, can we even stage when we're like this? I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to... Do a couple. Boop. Don't, don't, hit, don't hit the ship. <laughs> Go hit that ship, please. And I think I might, for the first time in this entire playthrough, just terminate these. They're, they're just they're just far out space junk man far out uh and this guy's just gonna kind of live here like this uh, extend extend no 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 
No, there we go. Extend. Uh, now, thankfully, it doesn't clip into itself, but I've got to make sure that I close these solar panels when we want to dump those because you know they're going to fall into each other. But that that's all I want to do with this guy. He is now a disarm, um, a refuel slash relay point. Fuel in here for anyone who needs it and relays. Okay, cool. Let's uh, switch back to Jeb. Ba bum. No. Ba bum. No. Ba bum. Okay, Jeb. Buddy, pal, uh, you're not my buddy. You ain't my pal. Uh, let's let's come up here. Elu has worked its way around quite far. I reckon four four orbits, and we are there. Uh, let's let's set this uh, ad maneuver. Okay, seven years, seven years for that. Oh, look, it's close. If I then move it on one more, ah, uh, no. Okay, so what can we do? This is not where I want to set this. We know this is not where I want to set this. Um, there, that's where I want to set it. So I add maneuver. Um, we're going to right click. Okay, so this, this is pretty good. We can probably get things to match up here. Um, or not. E gads, look at that. What was what's this? Oh, 1400 Delta V. That's that's not how we're doing that. That is not an efficient way. Uh, we got to find the efficient way. This is this is what's going on here. Um, I might even take a small break at this point and think long and hard about what we're going to do.